Hi guys, it's Christy with Christy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a future wife read for Drake. Well, let's see, does Drake have to say here? Mercury, messengers of gods, communication ideas, talkative expression, thoughts, manifester, resourceful, curious, electronics, conduit, inspired action, quick, the magician. So, oh, and, and that is Mercury, yes, and number two. Then we have Virgo, number one, mother load, prosperity, jackpot, hitting the jackpot. <laughs> now this could be what he's thinking about his future wife or what his future wife is thinking about him. So good fortune, having plenty, money maker, <laughs> sudden wealth, you think? <laughs> the real deal on easy street, accomplishments, advantage, fortune, the prime source. Then we have Pluto, the great revealer, judgment, total transformation. I like it. Heed the call, renewal, surrender, awakening, birth or rebirth, clean slate, fundamental changes, clearing and purging. Nice, and that's number 11. So for an angel number, we have 2111. So we can look that up, wow. And then we have 1111, because there's only four numbers you can put in for the um, angel numbers. So we have 2111, and then we have 1111, one so 1111 11. so nice and we have the fortress fortitude staying power stubborn sealing off a law aloof prepared backbone endured lasting ready for anything determined unbreakable true grit what it takes and that is Aquarius so that's interesting that sounds like a great um, a great relationship coming together. Somebody's uh, manifesting possibly this person, um, this future wife, and uh, she's gonna feel like she's hit the jackpot, man. Like, yeah. And it could be that it's a renewal from somebody from the past. It could be um, something that needs to be cleared and purged other behaviors possibly. Um, but it sounds like it's gonna be what it takes uh, with the, the fortress. It's gonna be um, protected. I, I kind of get that feeling, you know? So we're gonna do some tarot, because I always love tarot. What can you tell us for Jake? Uh, Jake. Drake <laughs> and his future wife. Oh, so he's gonna stand their ground. Okay, so this kind of makes me feel like this could have been something that's already happened maybe at one point in his life. Maybe he goes back to someone special that he had really major feelings for. We have seven of wands standing your ground standing up for what you believe in. Maybe she's pretty feisty and is just going to say, hey, dude, you know, two cups, there's a union here. So they maybe work that out, right? So let's see what else came up. <laughs> yeah, there's a passionate new start here. But I feel that somebody is going to be at a crossroads and I feel it's going to be her not having all the information, maybe not sure she wants to jump back into anything. Um, maybe something happened before. Then we have strength and having the courage to move forward. Um, having that inner power within to maybe take that leap of faith. Let's see what else comes up. For Drake and his future wife. Yeah. Looks like there's going to be equal give and take, and he or she has been watching the other. 
I kind of feel like it's him watching her. Let's see what else. Yeah, he's coming out as the emperor, so he's done the work. When that emperor and the empress show up, it usually says that they've healed, they've done all the work, they've done what they needed to do, they're good in their career, they're good in all other aspects of their life, and maybe they are just missing that one cup to give, right? And that could be in love, right? Now, I don't know if Drake is with somebody already or what, um, but I kind of like not knowing. <laughs> Let's see what comes up, right? Let's see. Oh, I almost threw it on the floor. Aha, High Priestess. So, he could be very intuitive or she could be. But we're going to clarify what's on the bottom of the deck. Ah, something is coming in very quickly. So it's possible he's going to give an offer. What's underneath? It could be that she's in isolation, but she makes him very happy. He's very happy with her. But it looks like she might be in her head a little, but there is a victory. Because he wants to give that couple love, right? And he finds her very desirable, okay? And it could be something that is kind of out of the blue with the moon card, just unexpected, hidden, not knowing that it's even coming. Maybe he hasn't contacted her, but that Ace of Cups is here again. So it is a divine offer. Maybe he wants to work with her. Maybe there's something they're going to do together. Um, with the pentacle offering and it could make them both very rich and they're gonna work on it and possibly somebody was a bit of a player could have been her could have been him but she's single and he's gonna give her that cup and he's rushing in to come in with the what is that the knight of swords so he's he's gonna go after her so, that's cool. I hope he catches her. <laughs> Let's see. We're going to clarify. Hello. Let's find out. Oh, somebody is the star, but we already know that. <laughs> see, it's a rebirth. So, it's somebody he's been with before. What was that? Two of Wands. He's looking at his future. Get in that crystal ball. Hmm. He could be spiritual. Or she could be. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> I want to thank everybody. Um, each and every one of you. New and uh, the ones that have been with me right from the start. I so appreciate you. And thank you for some of the donations that I've been getting. And that's going to help pay for some of the stuff for new cards and uh, other stuff that uh, that I'm paying for to come out to do these free readings. I'm not monetized yet, so this is all a freebie stuff. Let's see, what's the Seven of Wands? Three of Wands, so he is planning something here. And uh, she might be very um, standoffish, maybe fighting them back, you know, get back, I got boundaries. <laughs> Uh, but he's going to figure out a way of coming in there to see her. Let's see. What's the Two of Cups? <laughs> Ace of Cups. So this might be a divinely guided union. Maybe they're meant to do something, a uh, purpose of some sort, right? Let's see. What's the Ace of Wands? That's two Aces. Wow. What's the Ace of Wands, please, Spirit? They're thinking about their future. Yeah, he's manifesting her with the Magician and the Two of Wands. So, very passionate about this person. So, whoever she is. Yeah, he's showing up as the King of Pentacles. Um, maybe... Uh, 
I kind of feel like he's splashing his wealth on her, maybe buying her gifts, maybe um, things that she normally wouldn't have uh, without him, you know, and splurging on her, you know, just to say, you know, I'm good for it, you know. You can, come on. <laughs> right? <laughs> Let's see, what's the strength card, please? Ooh. <laughs> the four of wands, what? <laughs> so, marriage, hello. This is so awesome. So, wedding bells will be ringing for Drake at some point here. And that's at the heart of the reading. So, somebody's going to have that courage to pop the question. Maybe they move in together. Yeah, he's coming out as the king of wands. And yes, he's very nice looking. <laughs> so it kind of rings true. And because he is the emperor here, I kind of feel like he's showing up in his best self on all aspects because he's all four kings. So he's going to, I'm wealthy, I'm good looking, I'm all these things. And come marry me right so i'll give you equal give and take you know with that six of pentacles there and he is watching her with the page of swords what's the page of swords <laughs> i love readings like this don't you <laughs> it's awesome i'm gonna take that one ah page of wands so very passionate news so maybe it gets out to the media <laughs> yeah maybe it wasn't supposed to oh, let's see ah, the wheel is turning in his favor ah. <laughs> okay so the wheel is here and we have the eight of cups she's gonna try to run for it man but he's He's got the freedom. He's setting himself free to go after her. I don't think he's going to let her get away. He's going to do whatever it takes to get her. Let's see. Maybe she's a Capricorn. <laughs> All you Capricorns out there. Pick me. Pick me. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What's the High Priestess? Knight of Swords. Well. <laughs> Very serious about this very hard working and wanting to I just swords wow okay so he's gonna do the work he's gonna do the work he's not he's thought about this high priestess maybe he sees that she's the one and he wants that victory right Let's see, what's the Knight of Swords? He's <laughs> a celebration. I guarantee you he can run faster, especially if she's wearing heels. <laughs> that is why men made heels for women to make them look very beautiful. And um, they can't run away as quick either. <laughs> There's always a hidden motive behind everything, right? <laughs> Let's see, what's on the bottom of the deck? Yeah, there's the tower. Things are going to change in his favor. I have no doubt that he's going to get her, but she's going to play a little hard to get. <laughs> so, I'm going to leave it there, guys. I hope you like this reading. Please like, share, and subscribe. And also, if you really want to donate and help the channel, I'm open to that. And just go into the description box down there. There's a PayPal that you can hit, click on and donate. So thanks, y'all. And we'll see you next time. Later.